Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 775. Hey, if you don't want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 770 to 775, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how to take time in hours, so 36.39 hours, 39.95 hours, and round to the nearest five minutes. Now, here's the post at the Mr. Excel message board. I went ahead and posted an answer, and I had a huge, convoluted, long solution to this and an SHG comes along and gives us an absolute beautiful compact solution. All right, I've done some videos on rounding to the five minute. We're going to review kind of how we did that and then we're going to relate that to how we um, build this amazing formula that SAG posted. Now here's time, 6 a.m. and you can see up here in the formula bar, 6 a.m. in six minutes and this is 6.08. So if we round these to five minutes, this should be 6.05 and this should be 6. Uh, um, 610. Now, this is time, 6 colon 06. I want to apply the general format, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control plus shift plus tilde. It also could be, oops, that's shift. And we're going to have to use this uh, keyboard shortcut a number of times here. Uh, some keyboards, it's uh, this grave accent. It is the key to the left of the number one. So if I apply general number formatting using these keyboard shortcuts, Control, Shift, Tilde, you can see, ah, that's a decimal. Six o'clock is approximately 25% through a, of the way through a one 24-hour day. So time, even if you type it in this way, is always a decimal under there, the proportion of one 24-hour day, Control, Z. Now how do we round? Equals, and we use our round function. Now the number we want to round, well, we want to round this. However, we're going to have to do some trickery here. Uh, we need to divide this by five minutes and get a number. And the number will be, uh, there's approximately 73.2 five minute chunks in 605. And then we're going to use the number digits and put a zero, which will round to the integer. So check this out. We're going to take that time, which is a decimal, and divide it by five minutes, but guess what? I don't know what the decimal, or I, we could figure it out, but the, instead of using the decimal equivalent, because that's a decimal, in quotes, we're going to type 00, zero colon zero 05. That's the, in essence, how you would enter a time of five minutes into a cell. Now, we're going to put it in quotes, and even though Excel considers this text here, the fact that we're doing any operation on a number that's represented as text will convert it uh, to the actual number. So that's an efficient way, especially when you have weird times like, uh, you know, four and a half minutes or something. All right, if we highlight this right here and hit the F9 key, you'll see that it works perfectly, 73.2. Now what do we do? We tell the round function to round it to the integer. Well, zero tells it to round to the integer. That means the or the dollar if you're using uh, dollar amounts. So you can see we get our answer 73. Well, that's not what we want, so no problem. Now that we have the 73, that's how many five minute chunks are in this. We just multiply it. Multiply, and I'm going to do my same trick in double quotes 00, zero colon zero 05. Now I'll enter this, Control Enter, and double click and send it down. So you can see it properly went to 605 here, and here for 608 it went up to 610. Now, round function is great. This function goes way back, but there's a much easier function in 2007. This function came in by default as one of the functions. In earlier versions, you had to do add the data analysis tool pack. All right, so M round, it's just awesome. The number, we're going to give it that decimal, and guess what? We don't have to use that number of digits like round. You give it a multiple, which is exactly what we have here please round to the nearest five minutes. And M rounds graded around up or down, our normal rounding rule. All right, Control Enter, I'm double click and uh, send it down. I'm going to click in this cell and go up to the Paint Format Painter and click on it, the Paint button, and I'm going to copy just the formatting and then highlight both these cells and then let go. All right, now, if you wanted to show this in hours, since that's a decimal, You'd have to say that times 24. A decimal underneath represents the proportion of one 24-hour day. So to get it up to hours, multiply by 24. 
I'm going to use this keyboard shortcut because it sucked the number formatting from there, Control Shift tilde. And now we can see hours. Those are actual hours. Let me move this over here. Now that 0.083 decimal is what we're going to need up here to round when we have hours. So 5 divided by 60 is uh, reduced down to 1 divided by 12. And so that's the fraction or decimal that we need. If we were doing to the 10 minutes, 10 divided by 60 is reduced down to 1 sixth. So now let's come up here. We're going to use our same exact logic that we did for a round function up here. Equals round. And the number we're rounding to, well, it's not time, but it's hours. So there's some integers and some decimals. Now, down here we divided by. Up here we're going to divide by. And what are we dividing by? 1 divided by 12. Now we'll see an easier way to do this in just a moment. But we're just extending the logic we did down here. Um, and so we needed that division first, so we had to put it into parentheses. That's the number, comma, and then round to the 0, number of digits, because we're rounding to the integer. Close parentheses. And then we need to bring this back up. So we multiply, in parentheses, 1 divided by 12. Let's just see if this works. That's using the same exact logic we did down here. Divide by some amount and then bring it back up by multiplying. But notice here, we don't really need to do it this way. We can uh, do simple math and reduce this. If we look at this over here, x divided by some division, all we have to do is rewrite that. And we're left with x times 12. In essence, you multiply this division numerator, denominator, times 12 over 12, and it reduces it down to this. Similarly, some number, we have an x times 1 divided by 12. Well, we don't really need the 1. We just bring the x on top of it, and we're left with x divided by 12. So no problem. We can rewrite this equals round this times 12, comma, 0. And then what are we going to do? We need to divide. <coughs> So we divide it by 12, and that is the amazing formula that SAG posted. Totally simple. This is for when we have an actual uh, time in hours. Double click and send it down. Still further, M round is the way to go if you have it. If you don't have it in earlier versions, it's worth adding that analysis tool pack in. We simply say boop, comma, and the multiple, 1 divided by 12. All right, double click. Nothing like hanging out at the Mr. Excel message board. We'll see you next trick.